Hello from the Hanover Trade Fair 2015. We are here at the Chadimo Association going to talk to the European representative, uh, Tomoko Blesch, and she'll tell us all about uh, infrastructure, EV infrastructure from Japan. So in February, there were around 5,300 Chadimo charges worldwide, but Europe is a tough market for you. What went wrong? Well, uh, today it's about 8,000, so I don't know if it's going really wrong, but one thing I can say would be that in 2013, when the European directive was drafted, there was a bit of a confusion in the market. So that kind of suspended the progress of the market for a while. But now that the European directive is all set and the EU has embraced multiple standard charges, I think it's to, it's all, it's again accelerating, picking up the market. But here in Germany, it's fair to say that they don't really support the expansion of Chadimo. They're all setting on uh, CCS. Um, how does your association deal with that? Well, we're not in a position to interfere with any political decisions of any given country. However, what I can say is I'm not really that pessimistic about this because the investors are including Chademo Chargers and building Chademo Chargers here in Germany also. And I think it's a logical business decision because we, the Chademo, Chademo compatible EVs, occupy still a great majority of the market. Which investor would like to exclude half of the market from their potential client base? So I think they're making the logical decisions and for everything I think it's the customers that would benefit from it because the customers want multi-standards they don't want to be wondering about is the next station going to have Chademo or is it going to be just CCS it's really for the best of everyone and moving to the other side of the the world in Japan well, Japan is set heavily on DC charging do you think AC charging will even exist 20 years from now I wouldn't say that. In fact, AC charging is and will remain, I think, almost always the primary uh, charging or charger, charging source, because you would have to have your primary source of charging, which is which could be at home or in the office. So the workplace charging and the home charging will remain the primary source of charging. So the more EVs they sell, I think the more ACs will sell. number of AC chargers installed in Japan, the, the official ones, I think, are very much underestimated. There are, there are AC chargers everywhere at convenience stores or, no, maybe not convenience stores, but in like, parking like garages and there are a lot more AC chargers than we think. So it's not really true that they're focusing only on AC chargers. And in Japan, car makers or car manufacturers got together and kind of joined forces to push EV infrastructure. Do you think we'll see something similar here in Europe? We're already seeing it. Starting with the RCN project, Rapid Charge Network project in the UK and Ireland, there's EU funded and supported by different types of automakers, including Volkswagen, BMW, uh, Renault and Nissan. They are pushing forward the installation of multi-standard chargers already. So that's RCN. There are, there's another one in the Central European Corridor, Corridor, Green Corridor project. There's another one in France. And this other one is called the Electric Project that goes from Sweden to Germany. They're all funding together with the European uh, Union and supporting the advancement of multi-standard multi chargers in many countries, in fact. So by the end of this year, for example, we're counting on over 500 multi-standard chargers to be installed in, say, a dozen of countries in Europe. So it's already happening that automakers from different technological backgrounds in terms of fast charging are already collaborating financially to push forward uh, the installation of multi-standard chargers. And talking about multi-standard chargers, Tesla introduced a Chadimo adapter earlier this year. Do you think we'll see a Chadimo to Tesla adapter anytime soon? You know, honestly, our network of chargers is much denser than that of um, Tesla's. So I don't know. We, we haven't at least heard from the users of Chadimo EVs for this kind of need. So 
So, so for now, I haven't heard anything about it. But uh, should there be needs, maybe the consumers will start talking about it, and that might move something. I don't know. Well, thank you so much.